All that adds up to another dangerous commute for local drivers. And if you needed proof, Nick Barris went to a towing lot to show us some of Old Man Winter's handiwork. Thank goodness for airbags. I'm told the driver and passenger of this car were spared serious injury after they hit a patch of ice on Wednesday. The same can't be said for their car. It's now here at A.B. Collier's wrecking yard, no longer running. We tow for the Metro Police Department in South Nashville. This is where cars go to die. Insurance adjuster Gary Coombs gives them the last rights. Come out and do a damage assessment on the vehicle that has been wrecked in an accident or in a ditch or wherever it may be. You're going to be busy? Very busy. And manager Robert Dunn says snowstorms keep his lot busy. There were a few bad wrecks. There were a few bad wrecks yesterday. I'm going to show you a couple of them back here. This is a typical of a one-car accident. They hit the ice, they lose control. You can see what they did. They slid down the retaining wall. Dunn says it's the same story over and over. Lost traction. But in many cases, it's not just about the ice. Typically when that happens, you also have those. You have ball tires. The more serious wrecks usually involve two or more cars. This Sentra went over a retaining wall on 440 Wednesday and slammed into another vehicle. When this car hit, you can see what it did to the frame. It popped the windshield out. It's a good thing the seat belts and airbags kept the driver and passengers in their seats. Dunn says overall Wednesday wasn't all that bad. He counts only a half dozen or so wrecks from the ice, leaving plenty of space in his lot. He figures he'll need it after tomorrow. We'll have seven drivers, seven trucks ready in, in the morning. Obviously, some wrecks are worse than others. And I'll tell you what, they see them all here at the towing lot, and they expect to see more after Friday's snow. In Nashville, Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Police across Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky reported hundreds of wrecks, some minor and some serious, on Wednesday. They expect an even busier day tomorrow.